Welcome to MMA. Oh. Welcome to MMA Flicks. Welcome to MMA. Oh. Mm. Welcome to MMA Flicks and Chill. Yes. I nailed it. I have a bit of a fever and have been sick the past few days. So my voice is all jacked up. And I think you should probably subscribe to the channel because, like, I'm the type of bro that will still let you know even when I'm sick. Let's get into the video right after you subscribe. Subscribe. Come on. Like my shit. There you go. Thank you. Yes. You subscribed. You're a bro. Yes. Now we move on. MMA flicks and chill. Roadhouse. What's up, guys? So I just saw Roadhouse with Conor McGregor. And my thoughts are, I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. It's probably the, the, the coolest movie I've seen in a long time. But then again, it kind of reminded me of like, it was kind of nostalgic almost. Like it, it seemed like a an action movie in the late 80s, early 90s. And I like that. You know, so if you accept it for what it is and not try to look at it with too critical or an elitist of an eye, you'll enjoy it. A lot of uh, critique I was hearing over it was the storyline, but it's a remake of another movie. So why are you critiquing the storyline? Just enjoy it for what it is. I think people are misunderstanding it. I think it's supposed to be like action. I, I think it's supposed to be a little tongue in cheek, a little, a little uh, campy, if you will, because I mean, <laughs> Conor McGregor, the whole, every scene he's in, it starts with him with this shit eaten grin like this. And like, <laughs> did you guys see the video that I think he put, put it on Twitter or X or uh, Instagram, but he's on like an exercise bike on his Lamborghini boat and it's all close up on him. He's all up on the camera like this and he's just like. <laughs> and he does it for like two minutes. And so when I saw the movie and he just comes in and he's all like swollen walking with his shirt off and he's just got this shit eating grin on his face <laughs> it just made me laugh i don't know i love the whole movie it was good um i don't agree with people that are criticizing it i think it was fun and uh, any any fan of like like old school fight movies like blood sport and lion heart and karate kid and all that cool shit any fan of that will like this movie. Anybody that grew up the way I grew up will like this movie and not be so critical of it. It's great. It's funny. And it's not like meant to be funny. It's supposed to be like a dramatic action, but it is. It's funny. And it'll make you laugh if you're familiar with Conor McGregor and his actual personality on a daily I don't even think that Conor McGregor is playing a, a character here. I think he's playing himself. Oh, and by the way, the first scene where he walks in, he's completely nude. And you see him from the, like, he's walking in. He, he drops out of a, an apartment where, like, he just hooked up with this chick. And he's kind of just dropping out of the apartment onto the ground. He left his clothes in there and he's like, walking through this village it's like a little market or something and he's just buck naked and then he beats somebody up and takes his trench coat or whatever and of course it's fly the movie's good go into it with just no expectations other than it's fun and you're gonna relax and enjoy yourself and if you're over 40 and you grew up with like loving Bloodsport and Karate Kid and all those movies. Yeah, you're going to like it. Huh. I think that might be good for this video. 
I'll just leave it at that. So if you like hanging out, talking about MMA, we talk about the fights, we talk about the culture, we talk about a little of everything. So if you like the vibe, subscribe. Ooh, I didn't even plan that. If you like the vibe, subscribe. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.